Welcome to the Royals Network Morning Show. I'm Connor. And I'm Jake. Today is Thursday the, Thursday, the 31st, a D-Day. It is also Halloween, the spookiest time of the year. Because this is our Halloween special, we have a spooky spot for you today, a collaboration between the creative writing and digital music class. The empty house of the witch was just across the street, a little bit to the west. I told my best friend Chloe never to look at the house because the witch could catch your eye. If she did, that was the end. The witch would draw you into the house by holding your glance with her eye. You would never be seen again. Chloe scornfully laughed at me. She said, witches have been dead for centuries. I'll prove there's nothing to your nonsense. Come with me. We shall go into the house and look around. C'est bon. I was afraid not to seem brave, so we went in the unlocked front door together. I felt a deadly sensation of dread, as if we were being watched. It was near 5 p.m. in late October. Inside, we entered an old gray room with peeling wallpaper, which had a musty, ancient-looking couch facing a stone fireplace and an antique dusty clock, which didn't seem to be working. Next to the sagging door to the hallway leading to the greasy stairs. We had forgotten Chloe's cell phone. I didn't have one. Suddenly, the clock struck five bells. We both shrieked and darted behind the couch, crouching down. The door had closed by itself. We waited, no sound, nothing. Then the walls and stairway creaked and creaked. My dread was unbearable. I dared not to move until the clock chimed six times we huddled together. Chloe was weeping, so was I. The room seemed to grow black with darkness. We waited. The door slowly, grindingly opened. The creaking seemed as if the door was a wall being slowly ripped apart. A shadow of sorts could be seen as the door opening widened. Chloe? Ruby? It was my father. As we rushed to him, I am certain that I saw an eye, as if it were a reflection on the clock's pendulum, watching me. Chloe later said after her hospital stay, she saw a black cat in the fireplace. I never look at the house of the witch, even though our visit was 10 years ago. Neither does Chloe. That's all we have for today. Be safe and have a spooky day, poor Jeff. And oop.